Hello guys, welcome to this exciting video and uh, in this video I'll be talking about 10 business ideas that one can do or 10 businesses that one can do in Zambia 2023. So please stay tuned and if you're searching for this video, if you found this video, it means you are thinking about something that you can do right here in Zambia. The ideas that you can do in Zambia. So these ideas are the ideas that have helped people. These are the ideas that have helped me as well. And ideas that have carried out my research. Some of them I'm not doing, but I've carried out research. And I've found that it is working for people. And if it's working for somebody, it can work for you as well. When you put the equal amount of time and dedication and everything it needs to be, you can also do it. Okay, so please remember... To subscribe, please like, share, and comment. It's Sika here. Thank you so much for coming through. And please stay tuned and listen from what I have for you today. Yeah, All right, guys. Right. So let's jump quickly into it. So these ideas that I have for you, some of them can work for you even when you do not have money. Some of them do not require money. Others will also require money. So uh, if at all you don't have a capital, so you can check one of these ideas that I have for you. They can help you start and begin. So let's jump into number one. Okay, number one business idea that you can do in Zambia is creating a YouTube channel. Okay, so creating a YouTube channel. This idea, um, we have so many YouTube channels. And look at that. When you go to YouTube, when you are researching and all that, you, you find a lot of videos. So those videos are not automatically put there. There are people that put videos there. So when you go there to watch them, the more you watch them, the more those people who had uploaded those videos are making money. Okay? So, and this doesn't require any type of skill to open a YouTube account. No. It doesn't require any type of skill. What you just need, if you just have your Gmail account, okay and um once you have your gmail account the other thing you just need to identify which niche which role are you going to be praying for example when you when you're researching what you're researching if you're researching about phones for example me i deal with phones so if you're researching about phones once you type phones there you have a lot of videos for the people who have done um a video about those phones Okay, so those guys, they have identified their niche, their role that they pray there. So you can as well think of a particular role that you can be doing. You can actually create a video. For example, I'm making this video. I'm making this video about business ideas that you can do here in Zambia 2023. Okay, so this is my role as well. I'm a business guy and I love videos like this. So when I make a video like this, I upload okay so this isn't something that is requires a lot from you so number two okay number two is becoming a consultant yes you heard me right becoming a consultant now this also um you can either do it online and also uh at a you can also do it in a physic someone can still uh, approach you and um you help them solve their uh, the problems that they do have. Okay, so when we are talking about becoming a consultant, you just need to look at the area that you are good at. Okay, and then you can have people coming to you and asking a lot about the area that you advertise yourself that you are capable of doing. Okay, for example, someone can be um, a relationship consultant. Okay, a dating consultant. If uh, at all you are good into that, someone you can start that and uh, you can have people coming to you consulting about uh, their relationships, their marriages and all that. Okay, and you can be charging them as they ask you about them. Okay, another example you can also become a business consultant where people would come to you and um, they, they consult to you about uh, businesses. You know, people this time around, they want to start... Um, they want to start businesses and they do not know how to start, uh, what to do and all that. So if you become a business consultant, people can come to you and they can ask you about business and the information you are giving them, of course, you can't be giving them uh, that information for free. So you can charge someone for giving them that information. Okay, so that is absolutely also free as long as you have so much knowledge on whatever that you want to to be doing you can become a farming consultant 
you know, people asking you about farming, okay, I want to do otameroza. What do I need to do? And you can tell people, because this time you can do this, this, this. Okay, I want to do soya base. What can I do? You can do this, this. So when you become an online consultant or physical, whichever you want, people can still pay you for giving them the information that you have. That is number two. Number three that you can do is um, uh, buying and selling of used items. Now, this one requires capital. Okay, buying and selling of used items. This time around, or oh, right here in Zambia, most of um, most of the businesses that we have for used items is um, uh, clothes, I'm sure. Okay, so many people they are dealing with uh, clothes. Uh, we we call it now language saraura, you know. So uh, people are dealing with that. Those things have money, of course, but uh, that is not the only thing that one can do when you are thinking about used items. There are so many used items that you can do. And let me assure you this. Used items, they have a lot of money. They have a lot of money. You may spend less and you sell for more profits. Okay? But remember, one thing as you are selling, don't look at a lot of profits. Even small profit is still profit. Okay? So this is our problem, how we want uh, big profits. But uh, what I'm telling you is, uh, used items, they have a lot of profits. Okay? So now, what are some of those used items that you can um, uh, you, you can sell? So you can sell phones, you can sell laptops, uh, you can sell TVs, you can sell a uh, fridge, uh, you can also sell so many other used items. Okay, so you can sell furniture, you can sell so many things. Okay, so where can you find these items? Okay, so these items, you can find them in so many different stores. So you can buy used items, uh, gadgets, you can get them on Amazon, you can get them on eBay, you can get them on Alibaba, I don't know, Alibaba this time around. Uh, you can also, okay, there's this one also, which is very, very nice that you can use. Um, you can also use, um, uh, they call it AliExpress. So AliExpress is, um, I think I'll make a video about that one. Uh, Ari Express, you, you, you buy things from China, okay, and um, they are shipped to where you are. So if you are in northern province of Zambia, much better because you'll be getting things from Tanzania and that's very cheap. One thing, if there is something that is much easier to sell, gadgets. Gadgets are very easy to sell. Gadgets, you don't need a shop. You keep moving and someone says, ha, ah, this one is nice. How much did you buy it? Can you sell me? So look at that. So um, even someone who is not doing business uh, for gadgets, I'm sure as you are watching this video, you've sold the phone before. Number four, selling online courses. And of course, this one also does not require you to have any capital. What you just need to have is your phone. Okay. So how does this work? Online courses. Okay. So online courses, these are courses where you... Um, you, you can actually be doing anything or any experience you said it to somebody. Let me explain. For example, you can be doing an online course showing someone how to prepare shima, okay? Or how to prepare any local foods. I say that. And someone would buy that course and learn it from their homes. So how, how, do, how does that work? So you can actually, um, you can come up with your website. And uh, you tell people to visit your website, actually advertise your website as well and what it does. Okay, you have your Facebook uh, account, you can still do that. So, um, preparing Shima or any other local foods, you know, you can actually sell a course. Okay, how to cook uh, Chikanda, how to cook African prawn. Okay, so and someone, when someone buys that, then you can, st you can start instructing them what to do. Maybe you can send them uh, videos on WhatsApp and uh, they actually check. Maybe you can actually be instructing them as they cook and all that. So once that is done, then they pay you something. Okay? So people are doing that. What I'm talking about, I'm not talking from without, but I'm talking about things that are working currently right now. And if you try it, it will help you. Graphics and designing, I've seen it. It's a, a good business. It gives a lot of money. Okay? So uh, designers are making money. A lot this time around people have gone digital okay almost everybody is online 
So when you're dealing with designing and uh, graphics and designing, this can still work for you. Trust me, this work for you. Okay, whatever that you're planning to do, please make sure that it's connected digitally. Because digital this time, ah, I tell you, it's really nice this time. Okay, fine. So that's number five. Cleaning company, you have cleaning materials. Okay, like this, like that, like this. You see, all these cleaning materials, put them together, then have people working with you and then uh, moving from house to house or from uh, office to office helping out in cleaning the places, helping out in cleaning the looms. You see that? And, um, you know, there are people who are busy, as I'm talking to you right now. There are people who are busy that um, cleaning, it's a problem to them. You see? It's, it's a challenge to them. Not because they are dirty, but because some may not even have time. So in such places when you go, you clean their houses, you clean their um, furniture and everything, once it looks better, and when you are using machines in cleaning, it's really nice. It's really nice, more than just using brooms and all that. So, um, this one also, trust me, based on the research that I've had, it's a very good company and a very good idea. If you can manage doing this, this can be so nice, and it's not common. Okay, so the other one is phone repairing. Okay, this one is common. But you can do it different. Okay? So, um, let me tell you one of the problems that we do have in Zambia. Whatever phones that we have are not made from Zambia. Maybe, I don't know. Is there a company that makes phones in Zambia? We don't have. So now, when, where do these phones come from? These phones come from outside the countries. Okay? And one of the problems that these phones have is a network issue. Okay? So this network issue is really a problem. You might not know it, but start, then you see that this is truly troubling people. So you might get a phone from USA, bring it here in Zambia. When it comes in Zambia, you need modifications or unlocking it. Okay? So to unlock the phone, people will pay. For example, I've paid for so many phones. I get phones from USA. So if you are dealing with phones, please, most of it, um, do both of them. Um, software problems and also um, hardware problems. So this also is a great business idea. If you venture into it, get the necessary equipment and um, be at a position where someone can reach to you. Also advertise your business on all the platforms, then this can help. Okay, so this one is also a nice one. The other one is a um, laptop repairing. Okay, so this one also is an issue that people are facing in Zambia. Laptop repairing. So if you can also work on that, you know, identify people's problems and make those people's problems your fortune. Okay, so this is what we are doing. We've seen to say laptop repairing is a problem. And um, if you've observed, if you're in Zambia here, at the particular place where you are, okay, you'd only know to say, maybe there is one, okay, maybe there is one only who is a profession in doing all those things. So if at all you are, you are the one doing that, then that becomes better for you. All right, so let's keep moving. The last one. Let me talk about this one. This one is really, really, really nice. The last one is to like, share subscribe and also follow whatever platform you're watching me from please remember to follow subscribe like share and comment okay so i bring so many interesting videos like this okay i have so many videos that i have to bring out so please remember to do as wise great so let's talk about the last one the last one is food truck i would call it mobile restaurant okay Wow, this one is not really common. That's why I like it. Because uh, when something is not really common, it gives you a lot of fortune. It's really hard to prepare traditional dishes. Someone will agree with this. Those guys that are working in the offices, when they leave home going to the office, when they leave home going for their businesses and all that, it's not common that they will eat a traditional meal there. Come up with a mobile restaurant. If you have a truck, well and good. 
you can actually be cooking dishes and moving from place to place and saying to people okay this one is a great idea i'm telling you and um you can as well do all of those uh, types of foods but my recommendation you can actually do um you can actually do a traditional food that can work well okay you can use a motorbike you know carrying food with you and um you're moving around uh working places and people are buying from you okay so guys these are the 10 business ideas that can work for you. if you have any questions for me you can actually comment and i'll attend to that question okay and um please do so if you've not subscribed to my channel please subscribe and if you've not um followed me wherever you're watching this video please follow me for more and good videos so for now i think bye bye and stay tuned for more videos that are yet to come bye bye